Today we're going to be reading The New Bear at School, written by Carrie Weston and Tim Warns. The day that Miss Cluck said that there was going to be a new animal in the class, everyone was very excited. When Miss Cluck said that the new animal was a bear, the other animals squealed with delight. Letitia the rabbit wondered if it might be a fluffy pink bear like the one on her lunchbox. Maxwell the mole wanted a floppy brown bear with velvet paws. The mice hoped for a bell and wellingtons and a blue coat. And Fergus the fox cub thought any teddy bear would be just fine. So when the classroom door opened and Miss Cluck introduced Boris, everyone screamed. For Boris wasn't a teddy bear. It was an enormous, hairy, scary, grizzly bear. Miss Cluck told Boris she'd give him a uniform tomorrow and found him a seat next to Maxwell. But as he sat down, there was a loud crack and it made Maxwell hide his face in his paws. Oh, Boris, said Miss Cluck. Why don't you sit on the floor instead? Miss Cluck gave Boris a new book and a pencil. He was very proud indeed. With a big, friendly grin, Boris turned to show the mice. But Boris forgot how fierce his teeth were. And he forgot how big his paws were. And he forgot how sharp his claws were. Somehow the mice got scattered across the classroom. Somehow the pages of his new book got ripped. Boris is too big, cried the little mouse. Boris is too hairy, yelled another. Boris is too scary, they all squeaked together. Oh, Boris, said Miss Cluck, please try to be more careful. At lunchtime, everyone sat together, but there was not enough room on the bench for Boris, but nobody moved over. So he sat all by himself and dipped his big paw into his large jar of honey his mommy had packed for him. When lunchtime was over, Miss Cluck said everyone could go off and play. The mice began a game of hide and seek. Everyone ran to find a place to hide, but Boris was too big. But Boris shut his eyes and counted instead. One, two, three. Coming to get you, Boris boomed. Maxwell ran crying to Mrs. Cluck. Let's go inside and play some quiet games, said Miss Cluck. And Boris, please try to be less scary, dear. The animals sat together in a circle and there was no space for Boris. Boris had nobody to play with and nobody to talk to. Tears filled his big brown eyes and they rolled down his long nose and splashed to the floor. I'm a scary bear, he sniffed. I'm a hairy bear, he sobbed. I'm just a great big grizzly bear. And it seemed like a very long afternoon. At last it was time to go home. Miss Cluck stood and waved as the animals set through the woods. Maxwell scampered through the leaves. Letitia hopped along the bank. Fergus chased the little mice around a tree. And Boris plodded along far behind. Suddenly, from a hollow tree, leapt the Rat Pack. Well, well, if it isn't the crybabies, said the meanest rat. Poke. Letitia, Maxwell, Fergus, and the mice trembled while the Rat Pack circled around them. The rats didn't see Boris plodding along the path. All Boris could see was lots of excitement ahead, and he wanted to join the fun. Boris stood up tall to greet the new friends with the biggest, widest bear grin. And, yikes, it's a hairy bear. Help, it's a scary bear. Quick, run, it's a hairy, scary grizzly bear. The rotten rats ran away as fast as their skinny legs could carry them. But I only wanted to say hello, called Boris. When Boris turned around, 
The other animals cheered. Boris is a hairy bear, they sang. Boris is a scary bear, they chanted. We're so glad that Boris is our grizzly bear. Suddenly, Boris felt very shy. If you're going to be a bear, he said very gently, then it's probably best to be a hairy, scary grizzly bear. The next day at school, the animals couldn't wait to tell Miss Cluck how Boris had saved them from this nasty rat pack. Oh, Boris, said Miss Cluck, what a good bear you are. At story time, everyone rushed to gather around Miss Cluck. There wasn't much room once Boris had sat down, but the rest of the class didn't mind one bit. They all had a soft, warm place to sit after all.